So now that you've created your blog, we're going to do our first blog post. And there's a few ways you can get to your uh, to create a blog post. Make sure you're signed in at blogger.com and you will find your blog. Make sure you find the name of it. And if you just hover over things, you're gonna, going to get um, you know a, a description of what it is. And you'll find out right away that if you click on this orange pencil, you can create a new post. I know I'm pretty quick there. You can also click on a link to here and it will take you um, to that as well. Look, it just wanted to go. There it goes. And so um, it's going to start a new post. And if I um, first thing I want to do is I want to uh, put a title. Now, since we are reading um, Blood on the River, we will start off with that title. You can change it up a bit, you know, dress it up however you want, um, especially if we're going to do multiple titles. You can always go back in and edit later, though, if you change your mind. So what do you write? Look at this big empty page. I mean, that's always the biggest part. Now, what do I say? So I've left you this resource and the resource is um, a reader's notebook blog prompts to push your thinking. And these are really helpful when you're trying to do an, a blog entry. And so you want to know, um, be, pay attention to, I noticed while reading. And maybe you noticed a turning point in the story. So how do you respond to that in writing? Well, you start with this sentence starter if that would help you. An interesting change I read about was dot, dot, dot. Don't put the dot, dot, dot. Go ahead and explain what the interesting change was. So maybe you noticed a character change. Uh, something is going on with one of the characters. You would say, I noticed that, and we'll talk about Samuel here. I noticed that Samuel's been acting differently. For example, dot, dot, dot. Again, no putting in the dots. Go ahead and explain how he's been acting differently. Read through these. I think you'll find that they will really help to get you going, especially down at the bottom, um, because they're a little bit more general. When reading this part, I made a connection to, and tell me what, you know, the connection to, lies. Go ahead and um, put that in. So I'll let you go through. Um, for the sake of this um, tutorial, though, I have created uh, a post on a different, uh, document that I'm going to copy and paste in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. This is sort of, I did like a little summary to begin with where I'm at in the reading and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Now that is tiny and it goes all the way up to the top. So I can do a couple of things here. I can do large, but look, that's huge. I don't think I'm going to just go with normal. That helped a little because it was because I pasted um, the text in. And you can be looking and see if you want to center it or if you want to um, change the fonts here. Uh, I can change it to this kind of a font. Um, I don't think I want to make it bold or italic. That would be distracting to the reader. And um, you can change the color, but again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go for too much of that right now. All right. Maybe I want to do an image though, because this is a big block of text to have here. And I just happen to have had, um, taken a picture of the book. It was on my desktop. And so I'm going to upload that picture. So I'm going to look for the desktop. Oh, there's the picture of the book. And I'm going to open this. And once I've um, opened it, I can add selected. And there's the image. Now, you have to kind of play around with this. And you can move it so that it will fit right in with your writing. Uh, I know you guys are great at just dragging and uh, figuring this out yourselves. Uh, but down here, you can play a little bit with it. Right now, it's right aligned. And if I want to change it, I can do left aligned. And then it will fit in like this. I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave it like that for right now. All right. So there, I've written a ton. Um, I think I'm done at this point, and I'm going to either, um, first I'm going to save, make sure I've saved my work, and I'm going to click publish. Now, mine pops up, share in Google+. You do not have a Google Plus account, so you will not be saving there if this pops up. Click cancel. Do not join Google+. Plus. You have to be 13 to do that. All right, so I have had one entry. I've called it Blood on the River. If I want to edit that entry, I can click edit. If I want to view it, I can view it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to view. Uh, I can click view blog. I can do a new post. There's all sorts of ways to get there. So I'm going to click view blog, and I'm going to see what it looks like. And there it is. I hadn't even seen what the design looked like. And that is how you post to your reading blogs.